Hello friends, Flo here. I hope you're doing well, and if you're a Hammer main, you should be excited because Capcom just dropped their video for the Hammer in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, and personally as a Hammer main myself, I'm super excited because I think we just got a brand new game changing ability, and in this video, I'm gonna do my best to give my thoughts and opinions on why I think this new ability in particular has so much potential. So the two new abilities that we got are Impact Burst, which is a new Silkbind ability, and a cool new charge called Spinning Bludgeon Charge. While the new charge attack looks pretty sweet, what I want to focus on is Impact Burst, because this new move has the potential to drastically alter Hammer's playstyle in a positive way, and really bump up the damage numbers quite a bit as well. So as it says here, Impact Burst is a new Silkbind attack that adds a shockwave to charged attacks for a period of time, making it easier to flinch monsters. The attack itself isn't anything special, as we can see here, while it looks fancy, it's not gonna dethrone the impact crater in terms of damage, and it doesn't need to do that. We can see here that the attack hits 6 times for 31 damage, totaling to about 186 points of damage, which is nothing special for the hammer in high rank rise. Now, these values could just be what's been scripted for a demo, or they could be master rank values. Either way, it's still pretty poor. But the damage numbers aren't the important part here. The important part is the buff. This buff will add a shockwave to charge attacks specifically. Note that unlike the hunting horn shockwaves which are unaffected by the hit zone value of the monster's body part, these ones are affected. So at face value, Hammer receives a DPS boost for charged attacks at the cost of a wire bug. That's great, but while that buff has an effect on all charge attacks, it has a much greater effect on the multi-hit charge attacks, increasing their DPS drastically by virtue of being able to trigger the shockwave more times. For example, your spinning bludgeon benefits much more from this than something like your uppercut or your step smash. It will also synergize well with the charged brutal big bang and the new spinning bludgeon charge since they both hit the monster 3 times. But the silkbind aerial spinning bludgeon attack, this thing, when fully charged, has the potential to deal around 6 hits. Not only is this move a great gap closer at 1 wire bug cost, with the shockwave buff active, this thing is going to shred monsters to pieces. Another great beneficiary from the Impact Burst buff is the Charge Switch Courage playstyle. Charge Switch Courage was a switch skill that was predominantly ignored in base game Rise because it just wasn't as effective as Charge Switch Strength and a bit more difficult to use without the implementation of some utility skills. And that's a shame. It seems that a good portion of Hammer players feel like Rise pigeonholed them into a style that relies heavily on spamming wirebug skills, specifically Impact Crater, and I think that the aptly titled Impact Burst is here to burst us away from that playstyle and hopefully make more playstyles equally viable and add more variety to our arsenal. But returning to the topic of Charge Switch Courage and how it will synergize with the Impact Burst Shockwave buff. Firstly, Charge Switch Courage benefits from the buff simply because it is a playstyle that relies on chaining one charge attack after another. But there is another defining factor of this playstyle. Whether it's a level 1, 2 or 3 charge, as long as you've fully charged your attack, you will deal an additional hit, which means that you will trigger two shockwaves. That sounds like a lot of damage. And it definitely makes Charge Switch Courage a viable switch skill to choose in Sunbreak. And what's even better is that most likely, since they're tied together in Rise, we'll be able to swap between Charge Switch Strength and Courage on the fly in combat. Also, taking into consideration that we will be able to slot in a lot more skills into our builds in Sunbreak, I think that Focus will be an important one when running a Charge Switch Courage build. With Focus Level 3, we'll be able to get to those fully charged, double hitting, double shockwave attacks quicker, and that's gonna deal a lot of damage very fast. And yet, another positive of Impact Burst is that, now that the multi-hit charged attacks are getting a DPS boost, and we are incentivized to use these charged attacks that have a higher hit speed, this will improve Hammer's potential for elemental damage. Whereas in the past, Hammer was all about raw damage, I think Sunbreak will shake things up and perhaps Elemental Hammer might become as viable as Raw, if not better. So all in all, it looks like Impact Burst will bring a net positive wave of effects to the Hammer and Sunbreak. But let's talk about one nitpicky concern that I will bring up just for the sake of it and dispel it immediately. The one concern that I think some people might not be a fan of is the idea of having to manage a constant upkeep of the Shockwave buff. It's just a thing that might not gel with some people. But if you play Monster Hunter, you know that at this point, almost all of the weapons have some sort of upkeep cost in order for them to put out optimal damage. It's just part of the gameplay's DNA at this point, and it's what allows us to have such a deep combat experience. Now, I do understand that for the most part, the appeal of the hammer has been its simplicity. You just bonk. 
I love the bonk just as much as every other hammer bro. But if this idea of the additional upkeep that Impact Burst brings into the mix bothers you, then please think back to having to press circle in world slash iceborne after every time we unsheathe or got hit when we charged our hammer attacks in order to get the power charge or whatever the hell it was called. That was in my opinion the dumbest, most unnecessary and unengaging upkeep cost if you can even call it that. If you were fine with that, suck it up, you'll be okay with this move too, or don't, I'm sorry, I shouldn't tell you how to feel. I just want it to be engaging and I personally think that this will be engaging. The move will obviously only require one wire bug, as we can see the example here of the hunter doing the impact burst and then skill swapping to perform an impact crater, so we can assume that he has three wire bugs. Anyways, if impact burst required two wire bugs, I'd straight up just throw my switch out the window. Now the other question is, how long will the buff last? And that we don't know. We can look at Greatsword's power sheath for example, which lasts 20 seconds, and while that might not seem like a lot, you'd be surprised how much damage you can do in 20 seconds, as long as you avoid getting hit. Needless to say, the duration of the buff can make or break this move. If it ends up being only 10 seconds, then it's definitely not the game changer I've been raving about this entire time, so I really really hope it's going to be at least a minimum of 12 seconds? Maybe 15? Hopefully 20? Come on Capcom, Hammer deserves this. We used to be DPS kings back in my day, maybe this will help us regain our throne, or at least get an inch closer. So personally I am really looking forward to finding out exactly how long the buff lasts and seeing how the damage of the shockwave scales as we get more powerful gear. Now moving on to the spinning bludgeon charge, and first I want to point out that I think they made a mistake here. It says that you swap it out with a silkbind spinning bludgeon, but that is not a silkbind spinning bludgeon, that is just a regular spinning bludgeon. This is a silkbind spinning bludgeon. I'm not surprised that they got them confused, they practically have the same name, just one has a silkbind attached to it. Anyways, the brand new spinning bludgeon charge is pretty cool. It looks like a faster version of the normal spinning bludgeon, it has a much tighter hitbox, so you really have to get in the monster's face for this one. We don't know if it has higher motion value or higher KO value, I'm gonna assume it's either gonna be one or the other, but the really cool part is that immediately afterwards you do this cool repositioning dodge and your hammer is fully charged again, so you can follow up with a step smash or a charged brutal big bang. So this move is tailor made to go well with the shockwave buff that we get from the impact burst. Just another great addition to the hammer's arsenal. So all in all, this was great. I do have to note that since we don't have our hands on the game yet, we can't say with absolute certainty that these additions are without any faults, but from what I can tell, I think hammer is going to bonk harder and better than ever in sunbreak. At this point, every day that passes and I see more sunbreak content, I'm just starving to get my hands on the game already. How did you guys feel about these new moves? Please let me know in the comments down below, and before we go, I just want to say that I main both Hammer and Dual Blades in Rise, and so I will most likely only cover Hammer and Dual Blades, as I feel underqualified to properly cover any of the other weapons. So if you're interested in seeing me do an in-depth cover for Dual Blades when Capcom releases that video, please stick around. I would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing, as I plan on covering everything Sunbreak related, from launch all the way through to its final title update. I will share with you guys a variety of content ranging from fun build ideas, to tips and guides, personal gameplay footage and much more. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, take care and happy hunting.